morning everybody it's about seven in the morning something like that i think that's what the clock up there says i can't see it i just turned the truck off um i've been up for about i don't know maybe an hour or so right now just under an hour laying here uh it wasn't a bad sleep i actually slept pretty good um i went to bed around 10 o'clock uh, i started the truck up had it warm and then uh, I only had to turn it on once in the middle of the night, uh, about uh, 2.30, 3.30 in the morning. And then I turned it off, fell back asleep. And here I am. <sighs> if you have a Dodge Durango, I suggest you do this. Or any big SUV for that matter, it's definitely worth it. Because if I was in a tent out on the ground last night, I would have froze. So... Hopefully it's a good day. Hopefully we can get some fish. And uh, I was talking to a guy last night. And he said that the, there's another river about 45 minutes east of me. I actually drove over it on the way over here. Um, it's really productive. So if it's slow here up until noon, I'm going to jump ship and head over there. And uh, hopefully we can get into a few there, guys. Stay tuned. Hey, everybody. I'm up and going. It is breakfast time. Got our toast, our eggs, with some cheese. I'm so thankful that my roommate actually had this grill kicking around because uh, <laughs> mine didn't work when I tested it before I left. Uh, that's another thing, guys. When you're going out on trips like these and you're driving, it's a good idea to test your gear before you go, especially when you're going up like you know three four hours from civilization in the mountains so well, my toast is done turn that off there we go put some butter on it and we're gonna have ourselves a nice egg salmon guys so just let my uh, boots dry out by the fire here see that right there yeah uh, the Sun finally came out <clears throat> we got some really black skies to my west but that's okay um, they we're calling for rain around here today, so this system could definitely use some rain. Um, going to eat some breakfast. All right, everybody. We are starting day two on the fly. It is about 9 o'clock here. It's just starting to get the temperature that I want to target these fish at. Um, got a sweet little rig put on here. Put a little bit more effort and thought into it. You know, a little methodical here. Just to uh, try to uh, avoid from what happening yesterday, I lost about 15 flies in a few hours, guys. So um, I think I've got a little bit more of a balanced rig out here right now. So um, another thing, it being springtime here in the first like part of spring, uh, up in these Rocky Mountain areas, you always want to carry your your bear mace. You know, I got the Yukon Magnum. You know, see right here. Uh, just in case, I've seen bear tracks actually not too far from the campsite that I'm at. Uh, maybe about a click downstream. Um, so, yeah, I seen bear scat everywhere, and then I seen a big paw print. You know, I seen the claw and the thumb um, and the first toe on his paws, and they were right fresh in the mud, guys. So, you know, I almost left the campsite today to go fishing without this. Um, but I've got this close by my side, sleeping with it right beside me, just in case. You never know. Um, and the best part about being out here, well, not the best part, but a crucial key element to your safety out here is to have everything in a hard box or a tote and lock it in your truck while you're sleeping, while you're not at your site. Uh, anytime you're doing anything like that, then you're away from your site. You always want to keep that food locked away in a hard locker uh, up in the air or in your vehicle uh, or a trailer, like I said, nice and sealed up because the springtime here, the bears wake up from their hibernation and they get hungry guys they they get hungry they go to the places where they know there's food so whether that be small game fish uh anything they, they can get their their greasy paws on so gotta stay safe guys stay tuned hopefully we can get in some fish uh the water's looking good i'm gonna go uh, upstream a little bit see how it goes i see a fast riffle up here then i'm gonna urine and start out there um and work my way up for a bit see how the water is if i get a click upstream and it's not as productive looking as downstream was i'm going to turn around hightail it and go downstream for a few more hours and then uh, we're trying out a river this a new, a new river this afternoon guys so stay tuned
hooked up on a nice fish. It's a nice trout. Finally, guys. Oh, this thing's full of power. I think it's a brown. I gotta pull him out of that hole so I don't disturb it. Oh, buddy. Yeah! Let's go! Oh, yeah. Nice brown. Beautiful brown trout, guys. Hell, yeah. Woo! Clear water brown trout, baby. Clear water brown trout. I think he got wrapped up. Yeah, he got a little wrapped up. Woo! You don't like that? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Oh, yeah. I seen him. I thought I saw him at the very front of that pool. And uh, I saw something really big compared to those white fish down there moving around. And uh, yeah, I just decided to um, push up a bit, a couple of feet, and sure enough, this brown came out to play, took the leech on the bottom. That is a beautiful, beautiful 18 to 20 inch brown trout. Wow, look at that. Oh, leech right in its mouth right there. Yeah, guys, let's go. That's what it's all about. Beautiful. Absolutely a beautiful, gorgeous hen. All right, guys, stay tuned. I'm going to get a couple of pictures and then do an underwater release for you guys. River in uh, central Alberta. Got a beautiful, nice, long brown trout. Look at the colors on this bad boy. Oh, yeah. Look at that. That is fantastic. Underwater release right now. Boogie boogie, baby. That's awesome. That was so worth it. Oh yeah, let's go guys. Oh, I'm so stoked now. Let's get in there and let's get another one guys. All right guys, we'll call that a wrap for this creek. I'm uh, walking down a dry section of, uh, of the river when, uh, when runoff is going, but there's nothing here now. So it's just a little bit easier than having to cross the river a thousand times just to get back. Sun's pretty high, it's noon now. I'm sweating, but we got that one nice brown here. It's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, stumbled across a couple of good holes as you saw there, but couldn't pull anything out of there. So I'm gonna switch tactics after lunchtime and uh, see how it goes, guys. I'm really enjoying this. I'm glad I have the time to do this right now. If I could, I'd be out here all week, but uh, unfortunately I have to go back to Calgary for Friday morning, so stay tuned, guys. Gonna have some lunch when I get back and uh, take you to the next spot. Alright y'all, we are at the next creek. We are hooked up here guys. This beautiful, beautiful spring creek, brown trout.